Okay, I'm going to put together a quick little video for uh, Meets and Bounds surveying. And I've got my four segments here that I want to, to do. And I've got a starting point right down in the lower left hand corner. It's a little circle. So before I start this, I do need to make sure that this, uh, this uh, transparent commands toolbar is open. If it's not open, you need to right click on a gray area and go to Civil 3D and put a checkbox next to it. If that's turned off, then, then it doesn't show. So we're going to make sure that that shows, that's up and running, because we're going to use this bearing and distance button on there. And if you rest over any one of these, it kind of shows you how to use the, uh, the tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start just a typical line command, and I'm going to say node because I have a dot down here, and I'm going to start here. And when I start this command, it gives me quadrants of where to start. And the first one, I'm going to be in the northeast quadrant. So I just click anywhere in this quadrant, and now I key in 15.3742 for the segment one. That's 15 degrees, 37 minutes, 42 seconds, and I hit enter. And then I'll do a distance, and I forgot to put the distances down. I kind of pre-worked this, but we'll just we'll just run through this here. So um, uh, I can click to the location, or I can key it in. So the next one's going to be north uh, northeast. So I click anywhere in that quadrant. I key in 83.4119, and this time I'm going to key in uh, 18.50 for a distance. And then I go down here, the third segment is a southwest. So I'll click anywhere in the southwest and I key in a 7-36, I'm sorry, 7.3619 and I'll take a, uh, a distance of 2,000 feet. And then the last one um, I will click in the southwest quadrant and it'll be 85.3958 and then a distance of 2100 and as you can see it, it does not close um, so but anyway that's how you you draw meets and bounds descriptions now let's check our line work and we go to lines and curves, and we're going to add single segment bearings and distances. Now, one thing that's happening here is it's just coming on as horizontal. We can click on that, right click, go to edit style, and then going bearing over distance, and that's what we get. And and uh, that this is segment two. And what I can do, maybe a little bit easier here, is I can go to general and add labels. And then for the line and curve, I can set this by default to bearing over distance. And now when I add them, they will add the correct bearings and distances. Uh, changing the style of these to an even second is, is going to require too much time for this video. But um, there's a way to do it in styles. Just as a, a little tidbit, this is 2100 feet and 85, 39, 58. If I was to manually close this, my label automatically updates from what it was.